what we watch after dark. My name's Nathan, a.k.a. The Midnight Joker. And today, we are going to go over one of my favorite films, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It is a, uh, it has a director of Amy Heckling, and the writer was Cameron Crowe. The interesting thing about Cameron Crowe, he was writing for Rolling Stones as he was writing this book. He also has uh, directed uh, quite a bit of films, Vanilla Sky being one, Almost Famous. Uh, he's a good director as well as a writer. This movie what, is awesome, as everybody knows. I mean, Sean Penn, Jennifer Jason Lee, Judge Reinhold, her and then we had Phoebe Cates, Phoebe Cates, yeah, yeah, Phoebe Cates. Anthony Edwards was uh, one of the stoner friends. Forrest Whitaker's in this movie. Eric Schultz is stoner buddy. They were all very, very young. Uh, it's the first appearance of Nicolas Cage, a.k.a. Nicholas Coppola, in this film. Uh, that's his credit on there. He tried to lie about his age to get a bigger part. It didn't work. But I think you're really going to like the trailer, so I'm going to go ahead and roll that for you. Universal Pictures presents everything you always wanted to do in high school with everyone you always wanted to do it with. Hey, bud. Let's party. They're the students of Ridgemont High. Uh -huh. Brad Hamilton, the fast food king. I shall serve no fries before their time. It says 100% guaranteed, you moron. Mister, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kick 100% of your ass. Charles Jefferson. A man with a mission. Oh, gnarly! Linda Barrett, not exactly the girl next door. Awesome! Totally awesome! And Jeff surfs up Spicoli. People on moods should not drive. My skull. I'm so wasted. See Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And we're back. That was uh, a real nostalgia getter. Now, this movie has a fantastic soundtrack to it a lot of Tom Petty, Go Go's. I mean, all, I mean, so many bands are in here. And it's partly because Game of Crow used to work for Rolling Stones. The other thing that's really, you know, interesting is they played a joke on Phoebe Cates. They gave Judge Reinhold a really big dildo, supposedly, that he was uh, rubbing on when she walked in. And so her face is kind of a real reaction <laughs> To like, I mean, because it was probably, I think it was probably a pretty big dildo. Jennifer Jason Lee does a fabulous job. Forrest Whitaker does a great job. Has the, has the head football guy up there. Drives around the best car. And Forrest Whitaker in this movie is really, really cool. I just thought, I think the whole movie is just hilarious. And the cast really worked together. Mr. Hand, played by Ray Wilson, had some of the best chemistry <laughs> with Sean Penn, I felt. I, I mean, he it was... I mean, everybody's got that guy at the school, you know? From what Amy Heckling said was that she wanted something that was a, an unconventional comedy. It was... 
like American Graffiti. A little bit dark, but it's like you woke up in a film, but you're happy about it. I strongly suggest it at a nine because it's so funny. If, if you like uh, Days to Confused, if you like... Oh, he also... Uh, Cameron Crow also directed Say Anything and wrote that, too. Wrote all those, actually. Uh, very talented man. Uh, when I was in film school, uh, that was who impressed me the most at the time. And he still does impress me. But we have come to another end of a great show. I want to say thank you again. And we are up to 187 in the subscriptions. I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you would, subscribe for me. Eh, maybe like if, you, if you're feeling generous. But... I want you to always remember to love yourself as much as possible every day. And remember, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And you always want to remember <sighs> get you some. <laughs>